Welcome to another video in the Lantic Tutorials, a comprehensive series. In section 7.9.3, we will discuss some special commands. The following commands have special overlay specification, which I have taken from the presentation of Catherine. And they are discussing these uh, in a very detailed manner. So one can consult the book for these very special effects and their details. So I have provided the link to the book. So one can see over here all the overlays effects. In section 7.10, we will discuss columns, spaces and alignments. Now, sometime inside a given slide, we want to generate two or three columns so to generate columns we will have to use the command begin columns and then end column for example the following command begin column begin column here so it is columns and now the first column here is with no specified option but 0.5 text width then begin block and we will begin a block here and this block will have some contents and then end block and then end column so the first column has ended then the second column and it is also having the same width and then it is having a block in it and then end block and end column and here end columns so in this slide we are having two columns actually of the same width so I just copy from here to here and I go to my presentation and just paste them there and I build this and I can see here that both the blocks have been generated so in this slide we are having these blocks now if i look here then the two blocks are actually overlapping each other so i will have to decrease their sizes a little bit so that they can be separated and now we can see that now they are separate so block first block second and we can write the content of it some images for example here so it's up to our choice what should be the content of it now in this section in section 7.11 we will discuss smart diagrams smart diagrams are very important for the beamer in order to use the smart diagrams we will have to download the package through mectic console smart diagrams and then we can draw our diagrams for example begin frame and then smart diagram and then bubble diagram and we can write things question and all this just like this so in order to show it like this we will have to use that command so i just copy this and paste it as yes, it is already having the begin frame and end frame with it so no need to worry for this and as i build it then you see it will not run because i don't have included the package and the package is the package over here that i will include slash use package and the package is smart diagram and now i run this and now you will see here that it has generated that slide so we can go directly from here to the source and here we can see that they are bubbles now the first one is things which is at the center so we can change accordingly then questions and one thing to be noted that no spaces are required before or after the comma then comments feedback concerns etc and from here we can control the diagram dimensions like the width is 3 cm height is 3 cm and text width is 5 cm so if we change them like we change the width so their width will be changed if for example we feel that the text is not that much 
so we can just reduce the size of it like I make this one two centimeters so this is the width and now I build it and build again so no measurable effect so let's see here I change the height two centimeter and now it will have a considerable effect on it similarly if we want to have another smart diagram and this diagram is actually a circular diagram which is clockwise and the content of it is LaTeX, Tech, Tech Studio, Tech Maker, etc. So I can copy this one, copy and I can go here and just paste it. So it will show us the diagram and this is the diagram. Then the smart diagram which is the clockwise and these are the rectangles and here we can change the different setups like the size of this one similarly to insert descriptive diagram which is like in this shape that we are having a circle and then its description is here and then another so this type of a flow chart a diagram can be inserted by using this command which is smart this one and which is this command like smart this one and I just copy this and rest of the command I will have to copy from here so I just means inside this one I just in the begin frame and end frame or I start another frame here begin frame and I paste here and then enter and I paste the rest of the command and now I build this So it is made like this. LaTeX for technical writing, STR, GTR, GUT. So now here we have only defined the smart diagram. So their sizes are by default and not the smart diagram set. So if we include this one over here, then we can do customization to them as well. Similarly, for another descriptive form, we can utilize this one this command so copy and start another frame slash begin frame frame and just paste this and it is a priority descriptive diagram so we can see here that it is like this it is showing you can say the bars here of the same color and it is increasing in this manner so if this is required then we can use such a type of flowchart similarly the last one in this this is the last type of flowchart which I am discussing here so just copy this and paste it in a new frame slash begin frame and paste here so it will make a flow chart which is be like this technatic and then going on this way and then back from here to here so with this i hope that you would have learned how to make presentation in latic which is rather an easy job once you are used to it Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video.